In the bustling city of Cyberlin, where high-rises pierced the clouds and neon lights flickered like stars, the unthinkable happened one cold, crisp November morning. It commenced at 8.03 a.m., the exact moment when Caffeine Corner, the most popular cafe in downtown Cyberlin, experienced a glitch in its digital payment system. At first, it was merely an inconvenience, a few irritable customers unable to use their morning brew to thaw the chill of early winter. By 8.17 a.m., the minor hiccup transformed into a massive convulsion across the city. Flights were grounded as systems failed at Cyberlin International. Bank transactions were frozen mid-process, trapping funds in an invisible digital limbo. And then, like a row of dominoes cascading under a relentless finger, the disruption swept across the state, the country, and finally, the globe. As the chaos unfolded, the epicenter was traced back to an unexpected Sourcen IT outage in a line of Microsoft software. Specifically, an update rolled out in the wee hours that morning, which contained a critical yet overlooked flaw. This tiny digital flaw proved like a key in the lock of catastrophe, and with it, our interconnected world momentarily ceased to function. Amid this techno-turmoil, a young engineer at Microsoft named Eliana Morales became our unlikely hero. Eliana, with her unwavely calm demeanor and a mind sharp as a scalpel, had been part of the team that developed the fateful update. As news of the outage spread like wildfire, thrusting global infrastructure into disarray, Eliana's guilt weighed heavy her code her mistake, her responsibility. The very fabric of modern society, airlines, banks, communication networks, all hung precariously by the thread of this software. With each passing minute, the pressure mounted. News outlets were frenzied, the public was panicked, and the world looked to Microsoft for answers that even they struggled to find. Eliana, however, saw a beacon of hope. She knew the system better than anyone, knew its strengths, and more crucially at this moment, its weaknesses. Locking herself in her office, she dived into the labyrinth of code, her fingers dancing over the keyboard with a blend of desperation and determination. Her mind raced against time and time. Outside her digital fortress, the world continued to crumble. Airports became sprawling camps of stranded travelers. Financial markets nosedived into chaos as transactions stalled, economies teetering on the brink. And in every household, anxiety brewed over whether this was merely a technical snag or a harbinger of a new era of vulnerability. Back in her digital sanctum, Eliana found the Booger misplaced decimal, a stroke of the key so minor yet so consequential. With a steadying breath, she crafted a patch a digital band-aid of ingenious code meant to mend a fracture in the digital universe. But deploying it required navigating a gauntlet of bureaucratic hurdles and technical checks, a race against bureaucracy, while time ticked menacing. By nightfall, with the world watching and her fingers worn to the bone, Eliana initiated the patch. The digital world held its breath collectively. And then, like the first rain after a scorching drought, systems began to whir back to life. Banks resumed their humming operations, airplanes cut through the skies once more, and in thousands of cafes around the world, coffee flowed once again. Eliana Morales, a humble coder, had not only fixed a flaw, she had restored faith in the digital world, demonstrating that even in the labyrinth of complex software and sprawling global systems, human ingenuity could still find a way through. The world, once brought to its knees by a string of code, was now dancing to the tune of a repaired digital symphony, all thanks to one woman who believed she could make a difference. And indeed, she did.